everybody! Welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the friendship or relationship between cats, how you can tell if your cats are friends, if they're getting along, and how you can improve your cat's relationship with each other if they aren't getting along. Having multiple cats in one household can be a challenge, especially if these cats didn't grow up together when they were kittens, if they weren't introduced in a correct way. And sometimes cats, they just don't like sharing their home with other cats. I know I've experienced challenges with this. The most cats I've had at one time is three cats. I currently have three cats and they haven't always gotten along. They still sometimes have little fights, but it's really important in making sure that each cat is feeling safe and secure in their own home. It can be really stressful and there can be a lot of anxiety when your cats don't get along, which can lead to behavioral issues or health challenges. And it can be hard for you as well. If your cat is feeling anxious or uncomfortable, they will do things like urinate in places you don't want them to, misuse the litter box, maybe they will be hiding all the time. There are a lot of things that they can do that will make life more difficult for you and for your cat, for every member of the household. So how do you know if your cats are getting along? There are some signs that you can look for to know if your cats are getting along. If they greet each other, walk towards each other, and hold their tail up, often the very tip of their tail will be curved or in a kink, but for the most part their tail will be straight up in the air when they walk towards each other. This is a friendly greeting. If your cat holds their tail up when they're greeting you or another cat or another animal, they're approaching them in a very friendly, happy manner. When they get close enough, they will sniff noses or touch noses. This is a very friendly greeting that cats do. Often if you will hold your finger out like this towards a cat and they come and touch your finger with their nose, that's a very friendly greeting that's similar to two cats touching noses. They sniff noses to gain information about each other, but even cats that know each other and have lived together for a long time, if they're friendly with each other, you will probably catch them sniffing noses. You may also catch them rubbing heads together. This is often done in a greeting as well. Rubbing their heads together is them leaving their scent on each other through pheromones. Cats that are really friendly will groom each other. They usually groom each other around the head or the neck. You just have to make sure that it doesn't look like one cat is pinning another cat down. This is an aggressive behavior even if they're grooming, if they're pinning them down that's a sign of aggression and you want to break that up or prevent that from happening. Grooming they will often take turns. You won't always notice one cat doing the grooming. They will take turns with each other. If they sleep next to each other they feel really safe around each other. So it's a good sign when you catch them sleeping close together. They will play together. Play can often look pretty rough even if it isn't rough. Rough and tumble play is fun for cats but there are signs to look out for to know if the play has escalated and is too rough and is making one cat feel more uncomfortable. One of the main things to watch out for is that they're taking turns. So cats will often roll around with each other and kind of pin each other down and then chase each other and pin each other down as long as they're taking turns. So it's not always the same cat chasing and it's not always the same cat pinning the other cat down. They kind of roll around, wrestle, and then chase. Roll around, wrestle, chase. Just make sure that they are taking turns. Also make sure that there are no vocalizations. If there's growling, hissing, this means that they are not having fun playing. One cat wants to be left alone and another cat is being an aggressor. So this means they are not getting along if you hear vocalizations during play and if they aren't taking turns, you need to break the cats up. Signs that your cats aren't getting along is if one cat is blocking another cat from accessing a certain area. Like if they're at the bottom of the stairs and they won't let one cat pass to go upstairs or if one cat won't let another cat access food, water, the litter box, if they're hiding around corners and trying to block the other cat's access or putting their body in a position where it's difficult for one cat to walk by. This is aggression between two cats. So if you see this often, it's likely that your cats are not getting along. If you notice that your cats are not getting along, there are some things that you can do to help improve their relationship. It is important to know also that a relationship between cats can change. Just because your cats got along in the past doesn't mean that they will get along now or that they will be friends forever if 
they used to get along and they don't get along now, they may be able to improve their relationship. And as soon as you notice your cats are having trouble with each other, the better it is to fix the relationship or improve the relationship. Cats may be fighting over territory, they may be fighting over their belongings, and there may be hierarchy issues. If you have multiple cats, it is really important that you provide enough resources for each cat. The rule is if you have three cats, you need four litter boxes. Two cats, three litter boxes. So however many cats you have, plus one is how many litter boxes you need. You need a food bowl for every single cat. You need a water bowl for every single cat. Don't let your cat share their resources. Make sure that you have more than enough of resources for every cat. That includes multiple scratching posts, multiple beds, just making sure that your cats never feel that they have to fight over their necessary needs is really important. These are some other things that you can do to help your cats feel more safe and secure with each other. If you're noticing issues, try to identify the source of the issue or the conflict. So if you're noticing that one cat is blocking another from using a litter box, then the litter box is the conflict and try to figure out if you can add the exact same type of litter box in another area or if you need to move that litter box to a different area completely. Try to find the triggers or the situations that are causing conflict between your cat. If there are sudden changes in the relationship between your cats, there can be a health issue with one cat. Cats are really good at hiding if they are in pain or if they are experiencing a health challenge. So get your cats checked, make sure that they are healthy because illness and pain can cause stress and aggression in cats. You can also reinforce behaviors that you like. So if you see your cats doing something together that you like, or if you see them being calm, safe, gentle around each other, reinforce that through verbal praise, give treats, just as you would reinforce positive behavior in a dog. You can do the same with cats when you find out what they are motivated by. It is also important to play with your cats regularly even on a daily basis if your cats are aggressive with each other or if there is tension and conflict between your cats. Giving your cats the opportunity to play, to hunt, to chase really reduces aggression between each other because it releases pent-up energy. Depending on your cats, their preferences, and your situation, you might need to play with your cats separately. Some cats don't like other cats around when you're playing with them. Some cats don't mind. Figure out what works for you and your cats, but be mindful that you may not be able to play with your cats if both cats are in the same room or playing together. You might need to play with them separately where they don't see each other, especially if they are really having a hard time getting along. Make sure that you are providing vertical space. Cats see the world differently. They see the world kind of in levels. The ground floor is often a level that they don't always feel safe and secure. They feel really safe and secure when they are up high. These, this is why cat trees are really great because they can get up high. Cats like to watch and observe. Make sure that you have enough places where your cat can get up high. Space up high is very important for cats. Use cat trees, install shelves that your cats can climb up to, or perches, and make sure that you have enough for every cat. There are some products that you can use, like plugins that you can plug in an outlet that is calming and produces pheromones that can help your cats get along and helps create a calming environment. You can use the technique of scent mixing. So if your cat has a bed or a blanket where they have a lot of their fur and their scent on, you can let the other cats smell that so they get used to each other's scent or you can move that blanket into areas where your other cat may be and you can kind of create a group cohesive scent so each cat smells the other cat with their scent and they kind of create their own scent of the two of them together. Make sure that you provide hiding spots for each cat spots where each cat can go to to feel safe and secure, to decompress, to relax. A place they can go to if they are feeling a little threatened or if they just need to get away and spend some time alone. If you're really having trouble or difficulty, you may need to separate your cats completely. Keep them in separate rooms where they can't see each other, smell each other, hear each other, and then slowly reintroduce them to each other. There is a certain way to introduce two cats to each other. This is often done if you are bringing a new cat into your home, two cats that haven't met before. There is a way to 
properly introduce them and if you have two cats that have been fighting or not getting along for a long period of time or if they have had a really bad fight you may need to separate them and then reintroduce them as if they've never met before. Introducing two cats is a completely different topic that I can go into more if you are interested. I think I have a previous video on introducing cats that I did years ago. Maybe I'll redo it and make a new one. And if you are still having trouble, you can always consult a professional. There are cat behaviorists or even talk to your veterinarian or anyone trusted to work with. Feel free to contact me if you would like to work with me. If I have a cat behavioral package that you may be interested in looking into. I'll leave the links below in the description for this video. But overall, it's really important to be patient and to be consistent. It may take a long time to get your cats to be friends or to be friendly again with each other. Just be patient, be loving, and consistently work on it. And make sure that you are giving your cat one-on-one -on -one time with you whether that's playtime, cuddle time, both would be best. I hope this video was helpful and you can create a really safe, calm, loving environment for all of your cats. Please like and subscribe for similar videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.